Mysterious sightings are nothing new to our world with a number of reports coming in every day about odd creatures that people claim to have encountered in various places. Whether it's an alleged alien encounter, a supernatural run-in, or a monster of mythical proportions, this is stuff that dreams are made of if we have any say on the matter. Weird creatures always fascinate us. The more bizarre, the better. Good thing a camera was at hand for us to share the experience. 20 Mysterious Creatures Caught on Camera You'd think Neytiri from Avatar escaped from Pandora to go on a date with a human. She got herself a dress, a purse, and a pair of heels for this date. It looked like a normal woman until someone got close to her. What else can this person be, if not a character from Avatar? It's either that or a person in a costume who must like attention. The video begins with the Neytiri-like person appearing from one end of the road. We're not entirely sure the creature is wearing heels. She could be walking on her toes, and that makes it even more strange. Can any human walk so smoothly on their toes? The ears look like they belong to an elf. The skin color is also very different from normal. It's a pale green color. Our Neytiri seems pretty harmless, but slowing down when passing by the car was quite creepy. Another theory is that it's a guy in a costume. Whatever it is, the creature is unhappy. Maybe the date didn't go well. Perhaps it was stood up. Maybe there was a fight. Anything could have happened. The creature also grabs the attention of passerby. But not everyone is intrigued. We can see that first guy walk past it like it's just another person. If that guy wasn't worried, maybe we shouldn't be either. Maybe there was a costume party happening somewhere down the street. Who knows? Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. It looked like a normal person until someone got close to it. How that is even possible is beyond us because this looks pretty much like an extraterrestrial. Don't you think? In the 1940s and 50s, reports of flying saucers became an American cultural phenomenon. Sightings of strange objects in the sky became the raw materials for Hollywood to present visions of potential threats. Connected to ongoing ideas about life on the moon, the canals on Mars, and ideas about Martian civilizations, flying saucers have come to represent the hopes and fears of the modern world. If UFOs were visiting our world, where were these extraterrestrials? Could they be hidden among us? Ideas of aliens and flying saucers are a part of the mythology of our world, yet scientists and astronomers express varying degrees of enthusiasm for the possibility of intelligent life in the universe. However, scientists generally dismiss the idea that there are aliens visiting Earth. Even evidence to the contrary is often not enough to deter the hardiest of alien hunters for their belief there's a conspiracy to keep them secret. We're not convinced the experts are correct if this image is any indicator. The ET-looking creature looks anything but human. What do you think? Comment below and make sure to use the hashtag SweetTopic. Aswang terrorizes goat The Philippines have something they refer to as Aswang. It's an umbrella term for a variety of shape-shifting evil creatures like witches, ghouls, vampires, and transforming human-beast hybrids. The Aswang regularly features in their films, tales, myths and art. It's just one of those things everyone talks about, but no one expects it to happen. For example, no one expects to find a mermaid when they go fishing or expect to meet a vampire on the subway. These farm owners weren't expecting an Aswang to pay a visit to their farm. They probably heard the goats crying and went to check on what was happening. There's a thing clinging to the neck of one of the goats and sort of biting its neck. The creature was black, long and hairy. The question on everyone's lips or fingertips was, what is that? It was too long to be a monkey and too big and hairy to be a snake. The men poke the creature with sticks and it finally lets go of the poor white goat. The men begin a wild goose chase after the thing. They search the bushes and even go in the water looking for it. But they don't find it, not in this video at least. Now, we don't want to invalidate the fact that the goats were in distress, but like the thousands of commenters under the video, we have our reservations. The guys didn't look scared to go after a nameless creature, and they had only sticks as weapons. We wish we could figure out what the animal was. For now, our hearts go out to the poor white adult goat who was on the receiving end of the attack. Unidentified Humanoid Creature What does Spider-Man think he's doing under a bridge in Ukraine? 
If Spider-Man insists he's never been at, talk less of under the Perkovi pedestrian bridge in Kyiv, Ukraine, who then is it up there? Is it an animal? A human? An alien? The rake? Or is the video fake? In case you're not sure what you're looking at, it's a video of something or someone climbing across the bottom of a bridge using four different limbs. Now let's examine each of our guesses. 1. An animal We don't think it's a monkey, so let's scrap that. It may be some species of lemur, maybe a bat or a sloth. Lemurs and sloths aren't native to Ukraine, but bats are, and bats can grow really big. All bats don't grow to the size of the creature in the video, but it is a possibility. Our second guess is that it's a human, maybe someone drunk, an athlete, a maniac, or an adventurer trying to show off. A daredevil, that's a more suitable word. Whoever it is hasn't come forward to admit it either because they're aware the act will attract sanctions or they're unaware of the thousands of views the act has on the internet. Would an alien really be monkey walking underneath a bridge for no reason? We don't think so. Let's not dwell too much on that theory. The Rake is a six-foot-tall creepy character known to many young readers. It has a lanky, hairless body with large claws and gray skin. The Rake is supposed to be an internet urban legend, but many people have claimed to see it in real life. Finally, the person who uploaded the video could be a master at CGI and made up the entire thing. The Slender Man The Slender Man is a faceless monster that steals kids. He's a fictional supernatural character that originated as a creepy pasta internet meme created by Eric Knudsen in 2009. He's described as a thin, unbelievably tall humanoid with a faceless white head, wearing a black suit. In this video, a cyclist timed himself while he took a ride down the road. He didn't know until he watched the video that their slender man was taking a stroll in the field. The man said a woman in the car that passed by warned him that she'd seen a disturbing, tall, faceless figure in the field. He didn't see anything until he looked back at his video. Even for us, what we see in this video, from the distance where the camera is, is a regular person walking in the field. Nothing too suspicious, but when you zoom in, you realize it's no regular person. This figure is unnaturally tall and slender and walks funny. At some point, Slender Man pauses to look in the direction of the camera. What do you think was running through his mind? The video got a lot of views on the internet, and a number of people think it's real. A couple of people have shared stories of spotting Mr. Slender Man, so it was this cyclist's lucky day, we guess. Dog Spots Bigfoot why did this go unsupervised into the woods? That's one question we wish we could get the answer to. Anyway, this dog is one special one. It did something even humans haven't done. It captured the first clear footage of Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. In case you're wondering, Bigfoot is an ape-like cryptid that's large, hairy, and also human-like. The footage was supposedly filmed in 2015. A man strapped a GoPro camera to his pet dog and sent it into the woods. To well, we don't know what the plan was, but the pooch came back with something worth seeing. Thousands of people have watched the video, which was shared by Bigfoot Encounters on YouTube. See? There's even a channel specifically for Bigfoot Encounters. It's not as unrealistic as you may think. Back to the star pet and Bigfoot. The creature stands up on two legs like a human, but it also appears to be ape-like. We all know that people aren't quick to believe videos like this, Commenters were skeptical about the dog's reaction or lack thereof to the creature. It could have barked, retreated, or gone after it. But this dog continued like it hadn't seen anything. It's not like a dog to be quiet, so is it? So people have questions and so do we. Is that really Bigfoot or the dog owner in a suit? The Lake Monster The legend of the lake monster dates back to the 1300s in the Icelandic annals. The legend goes thus, a woman received a gold ring from her mother. Her mother instructed her to put the ring under a lingworm. A lingworm is a sort of mini dragon serpent. She did as she was told, and her mother told her that the magical dragon would grow, and so would the gold. Her mother was right. The gold grew bigger and bigger in the chest that the young lady put it in. It got so big that she was scared. Guess what she did next? She threw the dragon, the chest, and the magical ring into Lake Lagerflut. Hence why the lake monster is also called the Worm of Lagerflut, Iceland Sea Serpent, and Water Dragon. The monster is said to be about 300 feet long and has many humps. It's been around for such a long time. Or the legend that it exists has been. It's difficult to prove that it's a hoax. 
After all, Iceland is known to house amazing natural phenomena like geysers, volcanoes, vikings, magic hammers, and elves. We could easily add the lake monster to the list. The locals believe that if anyone sees the lake dragon, it's a sign that natural disasters or bad luck will soon be upon them. So they aren't exactly thrilled about encountering the serpent. Some believe it's just some debris or a fishing net fitted with ice, but history says otherwise. And right now, we chose to stick to the legend of the monster and believe that it's real. Humanoid Creature The tourist says the video was taken in an abandoned zoo in Onesti, Romania. The zoo was closed in 2007 for no exact reason. However, there are rumors that the zoo shut down because of the appearance of a very strange creature in it. The tourist was in the normal part of the zoo with the regular animals when he heard that there was a secluded area where a humanoid creature had been captured. Curious visitors, alongside our witness, move over to the area which is darker than the rest of the zoo. The creature yells when it notices all the people that have come to look at it. We can't even guess what it is. It looks like a living Egyptian mummy. Whatever it is, it's not human. If it were, it wouldn't be in a cage, right? According to local reports, the zoo was a place where scientists carried out bizarre experiments based on genetic manipulation. We wonder if the humanoid is a result of one of these said experiments. The creature may have been tortured regularly, hence why it reacts violently to the presence of humans. Poor thing, the Wessex Way Monster. This one's somewhere between half human and half animal. The mysterious creature was caught on video footage in 2007 as it jumped over barriers of a motorway on Wessex Way, Dorset. You can call it a rake, a beast, a highway humanoid, or a mythical humanoid. The creature has a human head and body but runs on four legs. And before you think about it, it wasn't a human crawling. As you can see in the video, it runs like an animal across the field. There are some possible explanations of what this highway humanoid could be. It could be an undiscovered species known as a cryptid, an insane man, although we strongly doubt that, or a misidentified wildlife. There are numerous theories about what the creature could be. Some even think it's a werewolf, a kangaroo, or a skinwalker. A skinwalker is a creature that can take on the appearance of whatever its last victim was. It could also mimic the last words or sounds it heard from its victim. If the creature in this video is a skinwalker, what do you think its last victim was? That'll bring us back to our initial confusion. There are people who believe it's a hoax. However, paranormal investigations were made, and the local authorities who oversee the CCTV cameras confirmed it's genuine footage. Could it be that this creature escaped from a secret laboratory somewhere? We've seen that happen countless times, thanks to Hollywood. In the movie, sometimes these creatures even talk and do other human things from the shape of water to Avatar to the fifth element to Stranger Things. The list is endless. Goblin Spotted 14 million people watch this video. No one would pass the chance of seeing a real-life goblin even if it's on camera. A goblin is a small, whimsical, monstrous creature that appears in the folklore of multiple European cultures. Apparently, it appeared in this woman's sitting room too. The caption of the video said that the goblin left a nauseating smell in its wake and somehow meddled with the electronics without touching anything. Hmm. One minute you're taking a video for your cute baby, maybe you're making a TikTok or a video for grandma, and then a tiny creature runs past and leaves behind a pungent smell. Really creepy. The Argentine woman shared that before that day, she'd been hearing her child talking by himself but never thought anything of it. But she later got nervous and started filming her son. After the goblin was caught on camera, the mom said she believed the baby had numerous previous encounters with the goblin and had been communicating and talking with it all along. But the thing is, nobody believes this woman. One commenter said, she's not only a mom, but a pretty good editor. There are many people in the comments criticizing her editing skills and saying she could have put more thought into the goblin's shadow to make the video more authentic. Alien Humanoid Ever heard strange noises on your roof? If yes, did you check out what was causing the noise? If yes, what did you find? A bird? A giant rat? Kids throwing stones? Whatever you found, we're sure it wasn't a pink-skinned alien humanoid. Somewhere in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, this pink-skinned creature was seen climbing someone's rooftop and being a nuisance, basically. Here's what happened. The anonymous homeowners kept hearing unusual noises coming from outside, so they decided to investigate the source of the weird sounds. 
They went with their camera once to check it out, and what they saw was, well, you can see for yourself, a mysteriously odd-looking creature. Before you realize that the video was fake, remember that it happened in Mexico. A considerable amount of weird activity has happened in that country, like UFO and alien sightings. So maybe this is real. Perhaps it's one of those weird things that just appears, and we haven't been lucky enough to encounter them in real life. Apart from the unmistakable pink color of the creature, its head is also quite unforgettable. The head is extremely small and doesn't fit the rest of its body. It's slender, agile, and has long arms and legs. It's also an excellent climber, and when it's caught, it pauses to look at the camera, like, uh-oh, we wish the video didn't stop there. What happened after? Did it run away, or did the person behind the camera run away? Strange creature in the woods. What makes this video sad is that we don't get a good glimpse of the creature. We see it for like two seconds only. We're sure when the 73,000 viewers clicked on the video, they also wanted a clear view of it. The good part about the footage is that a large number of the commenters believe that it's real, and so do we. The guy behind the camera said he'd heard the sound of the creature for a while, and one day he decided to check out what it was. He took along his camera in case it was anything out of the ordinary, and it sure was. Whatever that thing is, it wasn't just making random sounds, we believe it was crying or screaming. For help, maybe? Or out of despair? From the little that we see, the thing looks like a giant skinless chicken. The way its hand was positioned, it looked like it was beating the life out of something or someone on the ground. Someone in the comments identified the creature as a crawler and added that crawlers come from caves and mines. Another person supported the argument that it was a nocturnal creature living in underground caves. This person also added that it might be a stranded alien that's become violent in order to survive in the wilderness. That's one interesting theory. The guy with the camera runs for his dear life after spotting the creature. Netizens applauded him for his bravery. He went into the woods unarmed, knowing that there was something strange in there. That deserves a thumbs up. Chupacabra A chupacabra is an animal that's said to exist in parts of Latin America and supposedly attacks and drinks the blood of animals, especially goats. It's actually a legendary creature, but sightings are reported regularly. This video was filmed in Portugal and it shows an odd beast walking for a few seconds before disappearing into bush. Although some people think Bigfoot, many others think it's a chupacabra. The brownish creature walks upright on two legs through the desert as its long arms dangle at its sides. Then the video zooms in to give us a good look at it before it disappears. The beast is pretty large and walks majestically on the road. Maybe it was on its way back from devouring a goat. That's a possibility but not everyone believes the video is real. What's it doing wandering through a desert, and why does it disappear precisely behind the bush that gets in the way of the camera? Even if the creature isn't Bigfoot or a chupacabra, it is something weird. Except the entire thing was made up. This is some spectacular stuff. Something horrific in asylum. This asylum may have left a patient behind when they abandoned the building. The Canadian wanderers were exploring the building when they started hearing sounds coming from upstairs. Slowly, they got upstairs, and from behind a door came a dog-like, lion-like creature. The sound it made was similar to that of a lion, really. Apart from the people making jokes about the creature being a patient that was left behind, the majority of the commenters agreed that it was a hound. A hound crawls on all fours and maws anyone that provokes it. It's a humanoid with a strange biology with arms and legs that are built for travel on all fours. Hounds are highly aggressive, but we don't get to see how aggressive the one in this video got after seeing its visitors. Hounds appear to have a skin condition that looks like mange and constantly scratch or gnaw on their skin to get rid of the itching. They have white eyes that give the impression that they're blind, but don't be fooled. They can see clearly. Even at night, their eyes are as sharp as that of bats. They say hounds hatch from eggs that originate from the hive. What is this hive and where did it come from? Nobody knows. In case you ever run into a hound, here's what you should do. Stay out of sight if you hear it growling and if one is approaching you, keep direct eye contact. It intimidates them. Here's what you shouldn't do. Attempt to tame them or run away the second you see it. Mystery Creature in Thames this person claims to have caught a giant creature swimming in the River Thames by the O2 Arena in Greenwich. 
southeast London, on camera. From what we can see, a dark object rises up from the murky waters briefly before plunging back down again. The video was filmed by a passenger on the Emirates airline and was posted on April Fool's Day about six years ago. This led people to believe that it was a hoax. There are several dark lumps floating in the river, but do you think it's anything significant? Could it have been a fish or a large object? Or are there whales in the Thames? Or is some strange submarine down there? If it's a whale, it wouldn't be the first time a whale appeared in the river. In 2006, a young female northern bottlenose whale was found swimming in the river and later became known as the River Thames Whale. She died during a rescue mission not too long after her discovery. She was the first whale seen in the river since records began in 1913. Maybe if an investigation were carried out, they'd have found out it was another whale. Since that wasn't proven, we'll stick to the theory that it's a mysterious giant under the water. Ice monster. It looks like an alligator, but we know it's not. We must admit that it's very similar to the Iceland sea serpent that we discussed earlier. You see it too, right? This one's called the Alaskan ice monster, and it was swimming in the China River. It's covered in ice, and when the video first appeared on the internet, viewers argued that it was a sturgeon, a zombie salmon, a river monster, or a shark. Which do you think it is? A clip was taken by an employee of the Alaska Bureau of Land Management. They didn't investigate because it was so far out in the middle of the river. The Bureau of Land Management posted the video on Facebook and said they didn't know what it was and they're letting the viewers be the judge. In their words, we're letting you all be the judge. People took the judging pretty seriously. Someone guessed it was a chunk of moose hide or the other debris caught up on something and waving in the current. The guy who filmed the video said he initially thought it was some rope that snagged on the bottom of the river with chunks of ice. A river management biologist came up with the explanation that the object is most likely a rope stuck to a bridge pier. He said the cold nighttime temperatures caused a type of loose ice known as frazzle ice to form on the rope, causing it to float to the surface and swim in the current. But this explanation is too scientific and we'd rather go with the thrilling creative one. Alien looking creature. There are a lot of undiscovered species in the ocean, but this doesn't look like the average aquatic animal. It looks like an alien. This creature caught on a high-tech camera by a state-of-the-art remote control system and the Indian Ocean baffles researchers and scientists. Because what on earth is it? The alien-looking creature was found at a depth of 3,753 feet in the ocean. The first shape it takes is that of a strange ancient symbol or a lemon squeezer then it morphs into a luminous creature with pulsating lights, like a disco ball. There's nothing normal about this creature. Everyone was awed by it, but sadly, at the end of the video, it was ripped apart by the machine. Some experts in the comments called it a large blood belly comb jelly, one that's a deep sea variant with black pigment to help it camouflage with its environment. Someone else calls it a Dracula jellyfish, and the lighting up and the shape shifting were its defense mechanisms. The video, Less than two minutes incites a range of emotions in every viewer. First, you're awed when you see it floating downwards in the strange symbol form. Then you're intrigued when it changes into a bulb-like shape with shining light. Then you get confused when it's ripped apart. When you realize it's dead, you feel sad. The life of a one-of-a-kind species was just terminated. Four-legged snake. Snakes shouldn't have legs. That's why they're snakes. So what's this one doing with four of them? Well, we agree with everyone that this reptile is somewhere between a lizard and a snake. It was found in Phone Me Village. One area rep told the press that a man living in the area brought the reptile to the temple after he discovered it near his rice mill. The man thought it was a snake and then he saw the legs. The reptile is over 30 centimeters long and has very short legs. Its skin is striped and scaled, like that of a snake. Vice Abbott said that the older people in the community thought it was good luck for the village that the strange animal was living in the temple, but viewers didn't see the need for all the fuss. They concluded that the reptile was a skink and nothing strange at all. Skinks are lizards that are characterized by their smaller legs in comparison to typical lizards, and there are almost 1,500 species of them around the world. They're the second largest group of lizards behind geckos. So what they saw in this village was a lizard. Their reception is understandable because they'd never seen anything like it before. But we've got to admit, it's a little creepy. It's a surprise that the villagers weren't scared and now it's a symbol of good luck. Argentina Gnome 
A gnome is a legendary dwarfish creature supposed to guard the Earth's treasures underground. It was allegedly caught on film in a small town in Argentina in 2008. We think the video is a little hilarious because the gnome looks like it's dancing, then it waves at the guys behind the camera. It's not funny to you? The entity appears to be a small humanoid creature approximately two feet tall. It has a pointy hat on its head, broad shoulders, and very short legs. One theory is that it's a trained monkey that's been dressed up. And that's even funnier. The locals of the town claim that the tiny creature stalks the streets at night. One of the teenagers behind the camera told the press they caught the creature while lurking about in their hometown of General Güemes in the province of Salta, Argentina. It was 1 a.m. and they were talking about their last fishing trip. Then they heard a weird noise as if someone was throwing stones. They looked towards where the noise was coming from and saw the grass moving. Their first thought was that it was a dog. Then they saw what it was and became really afraid. One of the boys was so scared he had to be rushed to the hospital. One commenter said if they encounter a child-looking figure like this in the middle of the night, she'll take the child to the nearest police station to let them find their family. Good luck to you, sis, but that's definitely not a child. Evil creature. Everything is a joke until something like this happens to you. If you check out Rick Griebenick's page, you'll see he's a normal guy who posts normal stuff, not edited videos or alien sightings. It's this fact that made viewers believe this particular video was authentic. Rick found something he refers to as an evil creature in his house, and looking at it, we think it's evil too. The humanoid is green-skinned and walks creepily on the table. Rick had encountered the thing before, so he put a camera this time and placed a call to his pastor friend. The pastor began to pray, and when he started speaking in tongues, the creature appeared to have a slight seizure and retreated into the darkness. From the conversation Rick had with his pastor, he's certain that the creature is evil, and it makes us wonder why. He's very smart to have decided to record it because who would believe something like this? Even with the video as proof, many people believe that the video is fake. The people who think it's real have been calling on Rick to share what happened afterwards. Did he get rid of the green demon? Did he move out? Or did the pastor's prayer successfully cast it away? It's been five years since the video was posted, and Rick still hasn't said a word about what happened after the six-minute long video was recorded. The comment section underneath the video on YouTube has now become a sort of community, with almost 10,000 comments, where people share similar encounters and beckon Rick to kill the suspense and tell them what happened after the video stopped. Sewer Monster They call it Messy, the bizarre animal residing in Merseyside sewers. The creature is seen standing upright on its legs. The United Utilities Regional Wastewater Network manager said it could be an animal which escaped from the zoo or a pet. What we see in this video is no animal. We believe the video was fake before we think it's an animal. If it were to be the latter, what kind of animal would it be? Those eyes aren't animal eyes, neither are the hands, the legs, or the movement. We got intel that the video is an advert, a part of what not to flush marketing campaign. The creature we see is the man-made sewer monster. The campaign's goal was to warn people about the dangers of flushing inappropriate things down the toilet. The tagline for the campaign was, what you flush could come back to haunt you. That's one good campaign. But some engineers came forward to say they filmed the video. They saw the creature with glowing eyes and long black legs and believed it was something paranormal. Who are we to believe? A group of people say it's an animal, another group call it an ad, and the last group claims to have seen it and it was a paranormal creature. That's a lot of odd sightings for one day. Thanks for sticking around.